Hello guys and welcome back to another Drafty Josh video and in today's video we are going to be looking at the new characters and doing a quick first impressions review of the new characters in Disney Heroes, the, the update 1.4 I believe it was. Now you guys see I'm doing it in a different structure and that's because I've got into doing a bit of live streaming because a few of you guys have asked me to do live streaming and I think along those lines. So if you want to get your name down here or over there in the Scan all you need to do is donate to me down below. It will mean the world to me. It will help me film more videos. Let's get right into today's video. Right, so we've just looked at Hades in a video. I'm trying this way out. So a couple, the next couple of videos could be a little bit dodgy. Well, I, they shouldn't be, but I'm trialing it out doing it this way. Now, we're going to be talking about Maleficent. And is she good? Is she worth it? Is she... Um, yeah, is she a good character? I've gone over Hades. Um, Hades was really good. He's a tank. So let's see who, who Maleficent is. She plays control, which is nice because we haven't got many control roles in the new updates and stuff. Um, Hero was a control role as well. And as like I say in all of them, there's not a lot of point in me covering the base stats because they're the base stats, you know. What more is there to see is here. Right, so we're going to back out of here and we're going to go to badges. And you can see how she upgrades, she like standard all characters, but she'll probably have a, f uh, blah, 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 sorry, a few unique badges, yeah, a couple of unique ones just to her character, like the majority of the new characters have. Now, if we continue going through, we get to her skills. And when we look at Dragonfire, Dragonfire is one of the coolest looking moves in this game, hands down. It's, it's unreal, it's really cool looking. Um, yeah, it's, it's brilliant. So we take a look at it and we've got Dragonfire. Uh, she transforms into a dragon and breathes fire, dealing damage to all enemies in the arena. Obviously, the higher you have her, the more damage she'll do. So this move is really good. The effects are amazing. <laughs> Lined dragon, dragon breath shoots down, it burns everyone. Like, everybody's dying when it happens. It, it, it's so good, it's ridiculous. And everybody gets damaged as well. So it's, it's non-stop, it's just a boom, 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 boom. And then we go over to her second skill, Forest of Thorns. Summons thorn bushes that entangle the enemy with the most HP, stunning them for six seconds and damaging them for 180, damaging them over time. Obviously, the more you level up, the better it will be. So this one is really good. I've seen this in action. She brings up the thorns and they're stunned and then the damage drains as the thorns are hitting them. So they're stunned for six seconds, which is a long time. And then they do tick damage every second, damage, damage, damage. So which is really good to be fair, I wouldn't knock that. That's a lot of damage being done to basically everyone. So we continue through, we've got Fog of Doom. Places a sleeping spell on all enemies. And now this one's ridiculous again because it places it on every single enemy. And with that being said, every enemy is stunned, every enemy takes dam- uh, well, they don't take damage. But every single enemy being stunned for five seconds could turn the tide of battle very quickly. And I mean like instantly. And then if we go through, we've got Mistress of All Evil. She curses enemies for six seconds when they're damaged. So when she does the move and it dragon fires down on them, it also damages every single enemy, which is ridiculous because the Forest of Thorns hits them six seconds, they're damaged, cursed, stunned. Dragonfire, damage and curse at the same time. So you're looking at some ridiculous damage being done. Like, just outrageous damage. So get her as soon as possible, because she's, she, all of her skills are quite unique to the game, and they just allow her to do so much damage and stun and control the enemies as she's meant to be, because she's a control type. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe for more. I'll be doing this on all of the new characters that came out. Um, like I said, if you want to get your name anywhere here, just leave a donation on my Streamlabs. Make sure to follow me, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.